I can't lie. I'm kind of questioning my decision to go out today. I just arrived in Hanover, Pennsylvania. It's freezing, it's windy. I'm not sure what the day looks like. It's kind of weather dependent. Um, I just got to yesteryear. Let's go in and warm up. Oh, there's one of those celluloid reindeers. Hmm. Oh, I love the noisemakers. Those are really fun. And the little beaded elf. Now, this one's kind of different. I love the gingham print on it. $14.30, so it's like 10 bucks. It's a little close for me. Um, I know I could make a dollar or two off of it, and I'm probably gonna kick myself if I leave it just because it's unique, and those reindeer sell pretty good. Um, I also really like the flopped ones. They're a little, I don't like to sell them for that much, honestly. The prices on those are super fair. Um, I just don't think there's enough for me to price them how I like to. For resale, that is. Well, these are incredible. These Silhouette, silhouette um, Chalkware plaques are $15 and 30%. So even if... Uh, yeah, they look in really good condition. I was gonna say, even if they have a nick on them, I'd get them for that price. I love that style, and those are pretty hard to find. I'm gonna grab those for sure. This is also a uh, super neat piece, this music box, the birdcage one. And of course, I like the Bathing Beauty. It's priced really fair. <laughs> I kinda want this tiara. <laughs> I don't know why I have like a weird tiara thing. What is this little mouse up here? Oh, I thought it was rubber at first. It's ceramic. Home Co. I don't really sell Home Co. I don't, I haven't had much luck with it, honestly. Oh, I love these Victorian photo albums. Oh, I think they're so neat. Well, one of these things is standing out to me. I have never seen this set. Japan. Huh, that is really different. I'm a little thrown off by it because I would have thought that this would have been um, a rabbit in a hat, but I might look this up just to see if uh, it's correct. I've never, like I've never just seen this combo. I've only seen the rabbit in the hat. Yeah, so I looked and looked and I really am not seeing it, but what I did notice that I didn't notice before is that the markings on uh, the bottom are not the same. So this one looks like it probably is the one that has the rabbit because it says Japan in black. And I'm just not sure about this because it's marked in red. If it was the same set, I feel like it would be the same color on the bottom, right? Hmm. I'm second guessing. But either way, it's $8.50. Uh, if I was for sure this was correct, I would get it because it's unique and I haven't seen the set before, like I said. But since I'm a little... Oh, and now I'm seeing that they both have three holes. So they're both salt shakers or pepper shakers. So those do not match. I'm going to move on. I will say the couple times I've bought uh, sets that are mix matched like that, like two salt shakers or two pepper shakers, they have really not done well for me. So look at this <gasps> funny guy. Ah! Oh my gosh, please stay. <laughs> I just wanna know how much you are cause you're crazy looking. 33 firm, that's fair. Now this is awesome. <laughs> look at that giant hanging light. This is incredible too. Talk about unique. Now this is something that's on my personal wish list, bucket list, whatever you will. Um, I'm gonna guess this is its tag, maybe? Santa, 160 firm. That's actually a really good price considering it's in uh, that good condition. These are usually pretty torn up and um, a little bit smaller. I mean, it's at least, it's probably almost three feet. 
very, very cool. But I don't need that today. I always enjoy going to this holiday booth. I like this Christmas tree napkin holder left in. Actually, I haven't seen that one before. That's about what I'd sell that for too. Oh my gosh, it's just like packed full of all the stuff I love. Now I can't help but notice this Horner's. I've actually had a couple of these. Horner's chick or duckling, $17 is retail on that. I love those tins. Now I will also say that I'm kind of obsessed with this deer and fawn set. That's a definitely super collectible one. Whenever I get them, they usually sell super quick. $49, um, especially since it's missing one. I can't do anything with it, but that's probably about what they'd sell for on eBay. This is a kind of cool wall pocket. Huh. I love the candy container. Well, this caught my attention too. Taiwan. That is adorable. Ceramic too. I feel like the ceramic ones like that are kind of hard to find. Um, I've kind of looked at a lot of this stuff. Oh my gosh, the Noel set. That's a really nice one. Oh, I just, <laughs> I get kind of overwhelmed in this booth because it's so up my alley. And these are something I would definitely like to have in my kitchen. I adore Mondrian. Oh, look at this funny guy. I like the ones with those unique faces. Now, I see a lot of assemblages while I'm out, but I will say <laughs> this vendor probably has the best ones I've ever seen. 54, that's really fair. I mean, that's what I sold the planter for alone, and they're just done so well. Oh my gosh, look at this one though. <gasps> $18. So here's the problem I have with this. <clears throat> I've bought an I've bought, <laughs> I've bought a few things with this holly berry uh, recently, and the problem is they usually get damaged sometime between me putting in my basket and me photographing it. So I'm gonna stay away from it. They're just so fragile, these leaves. But I do think that is adorable, and uh, I honestly would pay $18 for that if it wasn't so susceptible to damage. And I somehow almost missed the little blow mold snowman ornament. $11, that's about what I get for that after fees. I can't remember what this Napco Wear Reindeer set was, 24. Okay, that is retail. I was like, why didn't I pick that up last time? And that's because that's about what I get for those after fees. Those Napco, Napco Reindeer, um, if the paint's in good condition and they're under a certain amount, I usually always grab them no matter what time of year it is. They sell super well. Now, a lot of the stuff I'm seeing in this booth is kind of newer versions, um, like 80s of a version of the 50s and 60s. These little ornaments are adorable. Little hodgepodge box, $9, that's super fair. Um, oh, look at the little glass big ornament. Now this has my attention. I have never seen one quite like this. For $12, I do, oh, and it's 20%. I do believe I could double my money on this. It's super unique. And snow babies, things like this, usually sell very well. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up for like, what, $9.60. There's that New Year's angel that I left behind last time. Oh, she's chipped a little. I still say I could make a quick buck on it, but this is actually very interesting to me. I have never seen this finish in the miniature hen. Very unique. It's not even my thing and I like it. They always have such fun little toys in here. I looked at these last time. Oh, this little doll is so fun. It's actually been a while since I've been in this booth. What is this? Junior prom. All right, tambourine. Oh, it's a little vanity set. Cute, but not quite what I thought it was. This is really cool. I love anything with a star print on it. They have a lot of super unique smalls in here. Oh, look at that little, is that a bag with the little Scotty pins on it? 
and of course the angel bells I like, but this is what really catches my attention. I love those Lucite purses. However, it's uh, not priced for me. <clears throat> oh, but this one, oh my gosh. That is so cool and it's even got the original clasp, which is really hard to find. Um, I always pick those up whenever I see them for a reseller's price, but at retail, uh, I can't really justify it. Now, the last time I was here, I did not go to this booth. It was kind of uh, crowded in here. Oh my gosh, this post doll is fantastic. I know I usually bask, ba bash on the Korea ones, but the fact that she's Christmas themed, she's $20 and 20% off, so 16 bucks. <sighs> I'm kind of tempted to pick that up just because of the Christmas thing. And I'm remembering this lamb planter. They usually don't run a sale. It's only $12. I think that is so cute. There's definitely room to make a couple bucks off of it. But again, just not as much as I'd like. And of course, I noticed the little piggy banks. This one uh, has a chip on it here. But this one's really unique. I love Big Eye Anything. And it's $10 and 20%. Am I right about that? Yep. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up for $8. Things with uh, big eyes are usually pretty collectible. I'm still considering picking the pose doll up. Um, what about this? This looks like Josef Originals. Yes, it is. Um, even though it doesn't say Josef Originals, I can tell by the writing, the font on the Japan sticker. I mean, also just the face is very Josef Originals. Like a lot of these music boxes, um, Christmas music boxes by Josef Originals sell for good money, but even $30 and 20% off. I'm not crazy about the music boxes. I don't know what it is about them. Uh, it's just not as not as cheap as it would need to be for me to pick that up, even though it's a super good deal. What's going on with this fish in here? Looks like a, oh, just kidding. It is new. It's made to look like one of the older ones. Well, I've kind of breezed through this place today. Some days I do that. <laughs> the snow globes are fun, but I get nervous about shipping those. Hmm. A lot of fun holiday do dance, but nothing really jumping out to me. Now, I know I don't do candles, but there's some really cute ones here. Oh, with the little church and the deer. Hmm, it's tempting, but I'm gonna stick to my guns on this one. All right, I think I'm about ready to head down the street to Black Rose, but in the meantime, I'm giving this one one last look over, she's missing one holly berry, but I'm gonna forgive her for it, especially because of the Santa hat. I just think she's so fun. Uh, I feel like it's harder to find the Christmas themed ones. I think I've only ever seen a, one or two before. So for $16, I'm gonna pick her up. I won't be able to double my money, but I'll still be able to make a few bucks off of her. And I have a feeling, oh, she's got both on the other side. I have a feeling someone's gonna be really excited to find her. So I'm gonna go ahead and check out and head down the road to Black Rose. Here I am at Black Rose in Hanover. So far I've spent $45 today. I'm gonna go in and get out of this brutal wind. Here's something I don't usually, uh see at a price like this it's only eight bucks it's definitely got a little bit of wear maybe too much for resale purposes whoa this booth is completely different than it was the last time and they're still running a 15 percent off sale but it's um not including things marked firm and i <laughs> usually only pick up things marked firm it's one of those snowman music boxes it's only $10. I have a hard time saying no to that. I'm just nervous about the base. Oh, I always am afraid they're gonna get damaged. But you know what? For $8.50, I kind of feel like I'm gonna do it, especially because it's one of the hard plastic ones and not the ceramic. And the paint's all there. He's pretty happy looking and we all know I'm a sucker for snowmen. I like this Santa light. These are usually pricey. What does that say? 59 firm. Yeah, I can't do that. 
And I really like these candy cane and holly berry glasses. But they're $11 each. That's about what I'd get for those after fees. Oh my gosh, speaking of assemblages, look at how fantastic these are. I love that they've repurposed the enamel pots. I really like this tree. The gold color, super fun. And a little snowman, $8. That's a little too close for me still. Look at this funny Sansa. <laughs> oh, he's interesting. That one's kind of different, but $10 again, too close for me. Wow, look at this old Bible. How fantastic. Oh my gosh, it's only $20. It's very damaged. I'd be scared to even pick it up, but it's one of the ones with colored illustrations. I have bought and sold these before, uh, even though they weigh a ton to ship. Some of the ones that have the colored illustrations that are in good condition where the binding is all intact and the pages aren't falling out sell for really good money. I kind of thought that the wind and the weather would deter people today, but I just saw the checkout line and uh, I was incorrect. I think these are so cute. I love the Valentine's Day themed ones, but again, I have not had much luck with these figurines. Oh, look at this little happy birthday angel. And it is a generic happy birthday instead of having a month attached to it. Unfortunately, it's also $18 firm. So I can't do anything with that for resale. That's about what I would sell that for myself. Oh, look at this cute little snowman frame. It's probably more like 80s. It's still adorable though. Another booth that I frequent that's usually a little too close for me. They're finally running a sale. Unfortunately, it looks like everything I was interested in last time is gone, which is not surprising. What is going on with these fish? I think they are actually brand new, unfortunately. I can't really justify that. Yeah, definitely new. Very cool though. And here's that booth that uh, I always find stuff at. Now they definitely have retail prices oh my gosh look at this cute little tree it's pretty damaged though and it's got that material that damages so easily that is adorable but again with the leaves and this is very cute but 38 dollars is honestly just steep vintage new old stock bobby pins i've bought and sold these in the past they really didn't sell for much five dollars is super fair unfortunately the packaging is a uh, pretty damaged some of these have some really amazing graphics on it whereas i like that one uh, i'm not not thrilled about the damage especially because i only sell them for like nine bucks or something Ooh, there's one of those slag glass ashtrays 17 dollars westmoreland that's a really good price uh, especially for retail i want to say the last couple of these i sold sold for 28 bucks um but since i've already had two this year i'm gonna leave that one behind oh my gosh i can't believe it's still here 375 what a steal i wanted to get this last time but didn't have a tag on it i am grabbing this i love the valentine's day themed and i do believe this is napco well i think it took me longer to check out than it did for me to shop I spent $12 in there, so I spent $57 total. I am calling it a day. It is too cold and too windy out for me.